Elder Maxon? By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading record. According to sure. the moment this mm -hmm. the Institute uh -huh. to accomplish this, I've had our uh -huh. the only logical explanation. That's where we need. Mm -hmm. Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. I believe you'd be better served showing these plans to Proctor Ingram. That being said, I'm pleased that you've chosen to build the device with the Brotherhood. Now. Indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. I just want to see them for myself. Don't allow the allure of their isolation to cloud your judgment. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport, and get to work on your project right away. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. Oh, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit, that's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Enough with the technical talk. Chomping at the bit to get this thing built, huh? It's difficult to make out. It's gonna take a... I'm glad you can. I haven't made sense of all. Here's a list of everything. You're also going to need a. Yes. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Uh -huh. Now I know some of that. Uh huh. Look. Hm. I wish I had your. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that right. if you need any help, I'd wish you good luck. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Absolutely. Your confidence is an inspiration. That being said, 
When we throw that switch, mm -hmm. God willing, you'll end up in... Sure. Nothing's gonna... Eager to get inside. Now. Uh -huh. Once you've entered about ten years during this problem. That's fortunate. Yes. Securing you... Mm -hmm. That said, after some time, uh -huh. we're fairly certain. Uh-huh. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood letter... Had I been in command. Your mission is... Uh-huh. Once you're inside the institute... Right. If you find out there's a special... Consider it... Very good. Listen to me. I'm well aware. Just keep your mind... Good luck. Proctor Ingram. I've checked and rechecked everything. Let's do this. All right. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal New down mission there, objective it'll received. do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well. Looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%. 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. discuss things with you face to face please broken step into the elevator new mission objective received what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific reason.
Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Finally, it's over. Who are you? It doesn't matter. What does is what you know about the Institute. Father, what's going on? What's happening? We're leaving this place. What's going on? Father? Father! Why are you so afraid? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is Father? he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Oh, God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environments. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. Really? Yes. It's true. In the vault, they had no concept of the passage of time. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Hell of a story, but I guess it does make sense. I'm glad you're willing to accept the truth. It's quite encouraging. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, 
protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. That's an interesting story. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. Uh -huh. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Uh -huh. I've been a part of something amazing. Uh -huh. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Telling those stupid stories. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third. Excuse me. Nothing to report, sir. As far as I'm concerned. The phase of Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are. Here. Most of them have died. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. 
If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I guess I just wasn't ready to die yet. Well, that's understandable. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facility's division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Ahem. Greetings. As the Institute on this issue went down, I can provide supplies, prime missions, and service. How may I assist you today? So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. Uh-huh. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Sounds like a waste of time to me. You should create something more useful. It's just my opinion, of course. But I don't believe that every discovery needs to be useful. Sometimes we innovate for no other reason than to learn what's possible. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Uh-huh. Dr. Holt, the Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. Maybe I should take some courses with Doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. You're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention here. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped Synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would Synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, a 
Our coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. It's just a matter of finding the weak spot. Everyone and everything has one. Yes, well... I'll be taking steps to make sure this never happens again. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thank Very well. Hey. Pardon me, sir. Carry on, sir. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. Doctor. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Uh-huh. I'm new around here. <laughs> you must think I'm some kind of idiot. Father may have given you the keys to the castle, uh -huh. so why don't you just... Uh-huh. What are you working on? Oh, <sighs> there's no getting rid of you, is there? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see... A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with- You're giving me your word? Sure. Hmm. I might not agree with- mm -hmm. Say what you came- Uh-huh. The Brotherhood needs- Needs my help. Right. They seem to have everything- Did you abandon any problem? You should know better than mm -hmm. If they didn't tell you, I'm... Tell me some. Why would I... What reason? I give up. All right. I had a call several months ago. I wanted to help with the... The incident, if you bring me, do we have a deal? No. Then we have nothing more. Now, if you... Now, for the... I've been told to install. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A courser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it sh Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. This synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating. He's definitely impressive. Yes. It's pushed our technology to the. I'll make sure it's brought. But do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy. I don't see why not. Good. Good. I'll admit. After all those years of hard work, here we are. I hope you'll keep an open mind. Sean. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I hope your time in the Institute has been enjoyed.
New mission objective received. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If they're so dangerous, you should destroy them and start over with a better design. There is no need for such drastic action. We are constantly working to correct any flaws that might arise. As you will soon see, we're also more than capable of reclaiming any synths that become a danger to the surface. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. 688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. Entering killing mode. Your AP is too low. Critical damage has been executed. Critical damage has been executed. Entering killing mode. Critical damage has been executed.
Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. To reset the synth's cognitive functions, speak the recall code out loud. The code is Gamma 7 1 Epsilon. Here, I'm gonna get you to our agent just the like me. So, made it to the no. top. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder? This is X688, ready to relay with reclaim sim. <coughs> I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Gabriel and his gang were sick bastards, hanging their victims up like trophies. I'm just glad it's over. While we can do nothing for Gabriel's victims, we can at least take comfort in the knowledge that the threat has been removed. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. You! I'm listening. It was an honor to fight at your side. New mission objective received. Doc Arrington's been asking for you. What just happened? Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? Easy. I'd steal it right back without them even noticing. No. Aside from taking back our property, we must teach them a lesson. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths. In their del- You've been in contact with the Railroad. So you're aware of their misguided beliefs? 
They're crazy, thinking machines are alive. Agreed. However noble they may believe themselves to be, they are thieves. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Sounds pretty simple. Hopefully, yes. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. I'll act quickly. You'll have a contact waiting for you just then. Hey, X4. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters... I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F-633. All right, Sin. Please. Z-320. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y-915, initiate reset. You there, Sin. Come on, please. Just, just don't. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta 93 Stratus. Sean, 
You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth, Ivor. The only hope for humanity lies below. Some air fresheners, a new coat of paint, and it'll all be good as new. If only it were that simple. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, mm -hmm. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. Kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. You've been an experiment of sorts. I have studied you. I have trained you. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Well, I'm here. Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen New mission objective received. It's time to go back in. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, and Dr. Yes. Fillmore, uh, can we maybe talk? Watchers show later? no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now 
and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. And? He has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Be serious. Everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. There has to be something I can do for you. Let me run some tests. Maybe your doctor's missed something. I'm sorry. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming this individual as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. He has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Unit level increased. Clayton. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to conduct an experiment. New mission but objective I need some received. With it. I believe we can improve. Allie. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hands. I'm going with you. No way. You're not going. You'd be a liability. Well, that's about the most insulting thing I've heard in a while. Okay, you're on your own then. Good luck. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and they'll get you over to Mass Fusion in a flash. Pun sort of intended. Cation discovered. There. Huh? Right here. Oh. Head 
Heads up. They went dark. We need reinforcements. Take it. Lost visual. Target reacquired.
survival is in Papa Mentes and let I don't get that feeling. Here's the final thrilling moment. It's a good morning to be a good neighbor lately, I've heard. Say what you will about the Mentats adult mayor. It's incredible. So you're stuff in that. Well, we're not. And with his silence. When he dies. Dr. Fillmore. Well, I see you managed on your own. I won't lie. I was a little nervous you wouldn't pull it off. Seems I needn't have worried. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. New mission objective received. I see. And you've been getting extra rest? Are there many more? Any additional pain or tenderness? Not that I've noticed. Interesting. Yes, yeah, thank you, Doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. The job is done. That's what matters. For the moment, yes. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were... ...concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you. Regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present. And look at me. Rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Whatever it is, I can take care of it. I certainly hope so. While you were working with Dr. Fillmore, a small team was dispatched elsewhere in the Commonwealth. Dr. Thompson was tasked with... inviting someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. That sounds... unusual. I thought you didn't let anyone in here. Usually, you would be correct. This time, however, an exception was made. There was no indication that this would be a problem. But the arrival of the team was an unwelcome surprise to Mr. Wallace. Somewhere along the way, he must have realized we'd been monitoring him from a distance. He called in mercenaries to defend him. I'm sure there's nothing we can't handle. Ensure the safety of the team and Mr. Wallace, and see that they all arrive back here safely. I'll be waiting. Need patching up? Do whatever it takes. Please, save him. Believe me, I wish I could, but he's suffering from a very aggressive form of cancer. We've tried a variety of experimental treatments, but Sean has not responded well to any of them. All we can do at this point is offer palliative care. I am so sorry. New mission objective received. It's hopeless. What about the virus? 
FEV. Are you mad? The FEV has many negative side effects. Even if he survives, he'll turn into a super mutant. Sean would never approve of this anyway. It would have to be administered without his knowledge or consent. I can't go along with this. They want me to take over the Institute. You really don't want me for an enemy. Give me a reason not to kill you. Please don't. You've convinced me. I'll help. Please be aware that the FEV might kill him or drive him mad. I cannot be held responsible if that happens. The risk is there. Here, take it. Administer it when the opportunity arises. But I cannot have any further involvement in this. There is too much at stake for me. Now that you have what you wanted, do not bring this up ever again. Nobody must ever find out what we did here today. I'm sure they'll calm down in time. I know these men, and I can assure you they are completely serious. Is there a way I can communicate with them? As a matter of fact, there is. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. Use violence only. Mm -hmm. Don't have the key. Here we are. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked. I'm sure some of the others will question you. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. Sure. I know you're angry, but there's a better way to handle this. Oh, you're wrong. You see, I've tried talking. For years, I've suggested that we do things differently here, but nobody listens. Let's see if anyone... We all have a part to play in Institute's future. Instead of protesting, maybe you can help me play mine. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? I'm sure you mean well, but you must see that it's an impossible task. A chance? Hmm. What do you think, Max? Even the most fastidious researcher must sometimes take a leap of faith. I say let's give it a try. Very well then. Open the door and let's return to the fold. Sis, abort command override and resume normal function. Only opens with a key. No way to pick this. Hey, Doc. Bravo. I admit I was right. I'm just glad. <laughs> Indeed. There is one further matter to discuss. Uh -huh. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be. There's no need to drag this out. I believe they learned their lesson. Your compassion and understanding speak well of you. I'll take that holotape back. 
I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression of gratitude. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. Excuse me, Doctor. Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Everything's taken care of. You're safe. It was bad enough when Wallace reacted so poorly to our arrival, but then Gunners? I was not prepared for that. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. If he's really important to the Institute, then it's worth it. You're right, I suppose. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just... well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking... maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm not a robot. That's exactly what a robot would say. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. Sean. Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. I'm proud to help the Institute. 
Here's hoping it all pays off. At this point, there is no doubt. It will succeed, and very shortly. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes, I am. The world needs to know that we are in power and the Commonwealth is ours. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. Hey there. If you for years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists, that we are among you. It is true, but it is not the whole truth. We're here, and we are. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... ...daily lives. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... ...unnecessary difficulties for all parties. Rest easy. Know that the future is... in safe hands, and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. <clears throat> well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcasts, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. <clears throat> oh, uh, um... Hell yeah. Hi. There. I I don't I don't uh, Okay. They usually don't Okay, let's try this. Why? Maybe this goes here. Uh. Sean. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then? The transmitter has been modified. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into their broadcast. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, 
is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Hey, I'm glad you could... I couldn't be more proud of what... After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. I did good work, didn't I? Yes. Yes, you did. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. Excuse me. I hope your time in the Institute. Hey, so, uh, there's this bit of news that, uh, might, it might interest you. Uh, if not... May I be the first hey, to welcome you, sir? You like We're looking Jordan, forward to right? working with well, you. Well, here's a classic. I'm happy to be here, Dr. Yeah. Fillmore. I hope I do the position justice. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for us. Let's not be dramatic. Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand but to project power to a much greater degree. We'll be much better able to defend ourselves. It's a good position. True, but I don't think we should stop there. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? Shouldn't we wait and see? Give the announcement some time to sink in before acting. That would be stupid. Sitting on our hands would only give them time to prepare. We've all agreed that action must be taken. As director, mm -hmm. we'd like your input. Uh-huh. Synths are the Institute's greatest strength. The more we have, the better off we are. Well said. I'll see that the necessary steps are taken. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Mission objective completed. To our needs. New mission objective received. Mission set is active. Straight to the moon we do. I am the star in blue. Sean. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to... It's the only... I'm glad you agree. 
It's no secret that you worked with the railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them among... They mean nothing. I'll admit. I'm relieved to hear that. Sure. Then I certainly hope I can come. Because these fanatics, small as they are, they must be a rat. Mm hmm. You don't have to worry about it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hey there. And so, the work is done. I am sorry. I know it was... It needed to be done. Make no mistake. Uh-huh. There is obviously one final threat to the instant. Unit level increase. Sure. You're not wrong, I suppose. Right. The Brotherhood of Steel Co. They will have it. We need to dis... You're right. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the end. Uh-huh. We can defeat them now. We can defeat them again, if we have to. Possibly, yes. But it would be smarter to put an end to it now. We will show them that if they... We will teach them. They will know. So we're just gonna... Win. There's a plan that's a little more involved. Dr. Lee... Time is of the end. New mission objective is... Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? Sean says... Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Okay, thanks. Is so, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? Mm-hmm. I'm aware of that. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to... Uh-huh. Sounds like a ground of... Maybe, but not just that. They'll be somewhat prepared for it. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. We'll have the element of surprise. Exactly. You'll have... For every generator, and... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. Oh, thanks. Grenades. Sure. I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. Oh, great. The day is won. I can see it now. We'll see what you think when you're neck deep in Brotherhood soldiers. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. It's the Brotherhood's giant robot. Right. They think it's their ultimate weapon. We're going to show them it's ours. Sure. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications, mm -hmm. and this part was my idea. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable. So you'll have to keep an eye on him. With Liberty Prime on our side. He's not going to go stomping around. Uh -huh. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So, oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now... No question. Very well.
Entering killing mode. For honor. Entering killing mode. Critical damage available. Critical damage has been executed. safe location.
Hey. We've improved security in bioscience. Now nobody can lock us out. New mission objective res- Sean. Forgive me. Mission objective completed. Hello, Sean. Ah. There you are. I've already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now, yes. But there will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute and to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Don't talk like that. You've got plenty of time left, and we have a lot to catch up on. Hmm. I feel quite well. Would you care to explain what happened? We had no choice, Sean. There are advantages to being a super mutant. And you've decided this for yourself. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? What should have been a simple situation has unfortunately become... complicated. Being human is... complicated. Understand, though, that I cannot remain within the Institute. You are to be the director of the Institute. You are the only reasonable choice for so important a task. Will you trust me? Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. I'm sorry. I really am. Unit level increased. 